So, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to our online webinar about the C3D V15, about the new version of our geometric kernel. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Alex Zykov. I am C3D product director in Ascon company. And before we uh, start talking about uh, the functionality of new version, let me uh, tell you a little bit uh, about our company and about our last year. Uh, this year was the first uh, when we uh, was a separate business unit in Ascon Group. So we are responsible for development and for promotion of the CPD kernel as a separate product. Now we, we are 15 people. And uh, during last year, we add more than 50 new modeling features in C3D modeler, uh, make uh, the C3D solver 10 times faster and make the C3D converter uh, 30 times faster. Now for us, uh, it's very important that uh, now we have 10 customers. Uh, we are uh, like a startup company and one year ago we have only one customer. Now. Uh, it's 10, and it's very important for us. And uh, last year, it was the first uh, ever customer meeting when we present the CFD kernel uh, worldwide. It was uh, before the Coffee's Russia seminar in St. Petersburg in uh, Russia. So let me tell you a little bit about our customers and about their products. Uh, of course, our first customer is Afcon Company. Uh, Compass 3D is the first product built on C3D kernel, and now uh, it is the most popular mechanical CAD system in Russia, more than 50,000 seats. Also, uh, ASCON has its own architectural engineering construction system based on Compass 3D. Uh, it's a local product only for Russian market, and it's also very popular. Uh, another product of uh, ASCON is Compass 40, uh, 24. Uh, this is the uh, mobile viewer of CAD models. Uh, now it supports only Android operation system and it's also based on C3D kernel. So for this product, uh, C3D was ported to this uh, operation system. Another customer is Wotsniti company and Ruby. They are built uh, a modeler called Esprit Extra Cut. This is the simple modeler for Esprit uh, computer aided manufacturing system. Next customer is Basis Center. This is uh, the leader in the Russian market of furniture CAD systems and their product Basis now based on C3D kernel also. Another our customer, Santa Gale, uh, work, working also in the field of uh, furniture. Uh, so their product uh, K3 now uh, also based on C3D kernel. Next customer is also Russian company Ledev, uh, that is well known in the world uh, component market. Their new product, a uh, geometric comparison system uh, based on C3D, and it's a, a very different uh, customer for us because they are built a cloud system on C3D. And the last, but of course not the least, customer is NTP TrubaProvat. This is uh, the company. Uh, who developed uh, stress analysis uh, products in the field of uh, piping and equipment development. Their product called Passat, and uh, they are very popular in Russia in this, uh, in this field. So uh, now we have uh, seven companies, seven developers who built their uh, application on C3D kernel. Uh, also, we have three universities who use C3D kernel in, uh, in education process. Uh, they are Agarev Mordovia State University, St. Petersburg State Technological Institute, and Voronezh State Technical University. 
This is also very important customers for us because they are bring a lot of new ideas for our development and using uh, our panel in education. Very important thing for us that uh, was uh, last year, uh, we became the resident of Skolkovo Innovation Center. This is the Russian government project, something like Silicon Valley in US, but uh, but in Russia. Uh, they give us uh, a lot of uh, marketing support, and uh, this is very important for us. Uh, what about uh, customer support? Now you see we have uh, more and more customers and uh, now all the support uh, uh, that we uh, that we give them, uh, we give through the uh, service desk uh, support online system. It's very uh, useful for us and for our customers. Also, we have a special FTP server where every two weeks uh, we upload the new work version of our panel. So if you are our customer and uh, you can download the new revision of the kernel every two weeks. Also, now we have online documentation in Russian and English language. It's uh, available online for all who are interested in it. And this year, uh, we have plans to translate to English uh, another document called Yori. This is the C3D geometric kernel book. Uh, this is very uh, simple description of, uh, of the kernel for developers. And this year, we will translate it to English and give it to all our customers. So this is uh, the main things that, that was happened for us uh, last year. Uh, before we start to talk about uh, the functionality, let me tell you a little bit about what is CCD. You know, this is the one product for all tasks of uh, of the developer. Uh, we have three modules of this kernel. Uh, this is the modeler uh, that offers functions for 3D solid and hybrid modeling, sketching, and 2D drawing. This is the C3D converter uh, that reads and writes uh, geometric models in all primary exchange formats. And this is the C3D solver uh, that uh, creating and solving parametric constraints on 2D and 3D geometry. So uh, I think that we can start to talk about uh, what's new in C3D V15. And now I want to introduce my colleague, uh, Alexander Spivakov, who is the leading uh, developer of uh, C3D kernel. And he will talk to you about, about the kernel. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, do you hear me? Yes. Hello again. My name is Alexander Spivakov. And first, I would like to thank you for giving me an opportunity to introduce the new features of our product. Okay. I will start from the news of the model unit because there are very many changes in this part. Uh, the first deals with step operations. In the previous versions, you could use only planar contours to build step solids. But in the version 15, you can use uh, both planar or non planar contours, and they can be many to build uh, step solids. Uh, the next group of changes deals with fillets and chances. The uh, first change, first improvement, is the opportunity to stop the fillet at any point of the edge it is based on. Uh, Next, uh, if uh, the parameters of field operations can be varied, you can specify the phase which uh, the field will be trimmed by. And next, if there are bosses for holes on the faces, you are going to join by field. The field operation will keep them. Next, during wooden operations, you can uh, choose the way how copper faces will be moved. And, and the next, uh, building. Uh, Trail based on the surface became simpler than uh, before. 
No, the border of the surface you are going to base the shelf on can be of any shape. And uh, also there can be any number of internal borders of the surface. And uh, some changes about the whole operations. When you build a hole, you can specify the shape of the tail part of the hole, as it's shown in the figure. And a bit of good news for those who use this sheet metal, sheet metal solids. You can uh, build sheet, sheet metal solids based on two drafts and then unbend it. And also we accelerated the operations if they applied to arrays of solids and improved angulation of narrow size of size of faces. And next the C3 solver. C3 solver consists includes two parts, spatial and planar. The special parts deal with special objects and they can be used to, to analyze the motion of the model. And the planar constraints are very useful when creating sketches. As for special objects, which, are, which can be used for constraints application, now you can use not only solids with locations, but any objects of the geometric model, such as the surfaces and points. The algorithmic base of the C3 solver was improved in comparison with the previous version. On the right side of the, you can see the plot. The, you can see the acceleration of new algorithms in comparison with the previous ones. On the x-axis is the number of elements in the assembly. Uh, three plus uh, correspond to three different types of conjugations. As for planar solver, new types of constraints uh, became available. Now you can align two points uh, along a specific direction. You can uh, define a point by percentage of length on the curve the point is on, and the uh, linear dimension for different pairs is available. And another object for constraints application appeared. It's a part of a curve located between two dreaming points. Now you can uh, apply. Uh, you can apply a sense on sketch and then transform it. Transformation is a combination of displacement, proportion, and scaling. Yeah. And as well as the spatial algorithms, the algorithmic base was also improved so that to make the behavior of complex direct more natural and stable. The CCD converter unit supports four main forms. They are assist, parasolid, IDIS, and step. And the uh, efforts of innovation were concentrated mostly on the step converter as the most demanded by, cust by customers. In addition to annotation objects, attributes, and dimensions, much work was done to improve the quality of imported models. The most impressive result of the work was uh, that we accelerated import of models which contain many surfaces. For a big model, the acceleration value achieved 30 times. And uh, just before I give the word back to Alex, a couple of words about this data available to it. The can application now is available for localization. The, we got the English version of the test application from our partner letters. And the test application now supports many documents at the same time. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Alexander. So let me continue. Now I want to uh, speak a little bit about our business model. Uh, first of all, it's very easy to get our kernel for uh, for evaluation. Uh, it's it's a free month and it's absolutely free and we give you all the support during uh, this evaluation period. Uh, next thing, uh, our licensing policy is really flexible. All of our customers are very different uh, and every customer uh, has its uh, own business model. So our business model is your business model. Uh, for example, if you developed free or very low-cost products, we can propose you a royalty-free business model. 
Also, we have special terms for startup companies. And uh, also, we have the special education program for universities. Our goal uh, in this uh, case is a strong one-on-one -on -one partnership with each customer. We want to be uh, a partner for each of our customers. Uh, what else? Uh, very soon, we will launch our own website, c3devops.com. And uh, also, I want to invite you on the CEBIT exhibition uh, that will be in Hanover in Germany. Uh, we will be on the stand of Skolkov Innovation Center and present the C3D B15. Also this year, we will take part in the Congress on the Future of Engineering Software in uh, Arizona in USA. Uh, we will have uh, two technology, technology briefings during the caucus, and we will talk about the future of geometric kernels and the future of uh, CAT systems. So visit us if you want to talk and to know more about our products and our vision for, for the future. So that's uh, all what we want to say. Thanks for your attention. And if you have questions, uh, you can ask them. So you can use your microphone or uh, writing your question in the chat. So please.